friends, how are you doing today? My name is Mary and this is Happily Ever Ash. So today I am coming to you from a very different room. We have officially moved house and are settling in and so there will be a lot of changes going on uh, but we are excited to be here and I have a big old box of books that I would like to share with you guys. These are books that I bought for myself um, for, with birthday money and then also some that um, I received as presents. So I'm so excited to share um, this little book haul with you. The first book I have is a middle grade with this beautiful cover. It's called The Girl of Ink and Stars and this is by Kieran Millwood Hargrave. Oh, isn't this book beautiful they have beautiful maps on the inside flaps i honestly don't know a ton about this story the back says each of us carries the map of our lives on our skin in the way we walk even in the way that we grow so i'm always down for some good middle grade and i've heard some good things about this and i'm excited to try it Next, we have The Invasion of the Tyrolean by Erica Johansson. This is the second book in her Queen of the Tyrolean series. I read the first one last year and it was one of my favorite books, so I thought it is about time that I get to the second one. This follows Kelsey um, as she takes back her her throne um, as the queen of the Tyrolean and it's kind of just following her journey. There's a lot of political intrigue in this which is one of my favorite things in fantasy. Um, I think it is a cool fantasy world. It is a regressed futuristic society so it is set in the future um, but it is no technology um, and just kind of a very medieval setting but in the future so a really cool setting and I'm excited to get to the second book. Next we have The Easter Parade by Richard Yates. I am so excited to get to this. I read Revolutionary Road um, earlier this year and I really enjoyed it so excited to pick up some more Yates. I love um, the Yates covers for the um, Red Spine editions. Um, this follows two sisters and kind of looking at their lives and I think Yates is a very insightful writer and so I'm excited to hear his story about these two sisters. The next one we have is The Man Who Loved Children by Christina Steed. I know this is an Australian author and kind of considered an under known modern classic. I'll read you the back because I honestly don't know a ton about this, but it says Sam and Henny Pollitt have too many children, too little money, and too much loathing for each other. As Sam uses the children's adorations to feed his own voracious ego, Henny watches in bleak despair knowing the bitter reality that lies just below his mad visions. A chilling novel of family life, the relations between parents and children, husbands and wives, the man who loved children is acknowledged as a contemporary classic. I've got another sequel. This is The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss, the second book in his King Killer Chronicle series. Again, read the first fantasy book um, in this series earlier this year and really loved it. This one is even more of a beast than the first one but excited to continue on with Kvothe's story. Next I have The Good Immigrant um, edited by Nikesh Shukla and this is 21 ex 21 stories um, by different writers exploring what it means to be black, Asian, and minority ethnic in Britain today. So this is all about the immigration experience and I am so excited to read this. I've only heard good things about this um, short story anthology and I am just beyond excited to read this. Next we have Sufficient Grace by Amy Spessif. This was a Mothbot picks a couple months ago and um, when I started hearing people talk about it and saw this wonderful cover I knew I had to pick it up. This follows Ruth and her cousin Naomi. They live in the wilderness in Wisconsin. They're kind of a part of this cult-like religion. There is some deep deep dark kind of hidden secret that goes on. This is a very kind of set in a wintry more bleak um, setting. It's very rural and those are just all things that I think make for a great story. So again excited to pick this one up. Next I have The Bird and the Tree by Elizabeth Gouge. 
And this is book one in her Elliot Family Trilogy. Kate Howe absolutely raves about this series. Um, it kind of follows, I think, um, a matriarch of the family, Lucia Elliot, and just kind of the story of her and her family. And I'm very, very, very excited to read this. From everyone that I've heard that has read this, um, they've really loved it. So I think that this sounds super cozy and just like a beautiful read. Next we have The Trouble with Goats and Sheep by Joanna Cannon. This is set in a very hot summer in 1976. And I'm going to read this little blurb on the back because I think it just makes it, this book sound so intriguing. Mrs. Creasy is missing and the avenue is alive with whispers. As the summer shimmers endlessly on, 10-year-olds Grace and Tilly decide to take matters into their own hands. So coming of age story about two young girls trying to solve this mystery. Um, it, this just sounds absolutely wonderful. And again, I've only heard good things about this book. So very excited to try it out. I've received a beautiful copy of Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen with the pretty French flaps and the um, pretty inside covers. But this is the next Jane Austen that I want to pick up. So excited that I get to do it in this lovely edition. Um, all these vintage classics um, on the back have a, a quote um, from the book, so I'll read it. I do not attempt to deny, said she, that I think very highly of him, that I greatly esteem, that I like him. So, excited to pick this Jane Austen up. Another book to Darlene, we have The Unseen World by Liz Moore. This is getting all of the hype right now, um, and another one that I'm excited to pick up. Kind of sounds like another coming of age story follows a young female protagonist and her genius father. Her father is diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, and he leaves his daughter um, this kind of mysterious information on a floppy disk and she's kind of has to figure out what he's trying to tell her and secrets and intrigue and you know family dynamics so again another one that just sounds awesome their sequel is James Harriet's All Things Bright and Beautiful. This is the next um, installment in James Harriet's memoir series. Um, James Harriet was um, a veterinarian in the early 1900s and he um, lives in the small Yorkshire town and practices his veterinary medicine and these kind of anecdotal stories um, are just so funny you will laugh but you will also cry there's just some beautiful heart touching moments um, and I absolutely loved the first one this one now follows James and his wife and so ugh, I'm just so stoked um, to pick this one up this summer I have another middle grade, The Lie Tree by Frances Hardinge. It's like a darker middle grade. The back says, when Faith's father is found dead under mysterious circumstances, she is determined to untangle the truth from the lies. Searching through his belongings for clues, she discovers a strange tree, a tree that feeds off whispered lies and bears fruit that reveals hidden secrets. But as Faith's untruths spiral out of control, she discovers that where lies seduce, truths shatter so this has been very highly praised um it was the book of the year um the cost is book of the year in 2015 um and i am very excited to pick this one up next we have the essex serpent by sarah perry which was another um book to darlene that in this past year but um i think was just very well loved in the book world in general this follows Cora, who has recently lost her husband, um, but I think it was kind of, not a good thing, but a relief to her maybe because of her strained relationship with him. Um, and so she moves away to this town in Essex where um, there is this magical beast um, known as the Essex Serpent and all the superstition surrounding um, this thing. And she is just kind of has no time for it. She's a naturalist and um, just does not give a lot to religion or superstition. Um, and she is meets the local vicar there, Will, um, who is kind of in the same boat with her, not um, super keen on this whole idea of the Essex Serpent, but for completely different re reasons because of his his view that they are um, causing people to go away from 
from religion and, and spirituality. So these kind of two extremes coming together on common ground, not really um, agreeing about this Essex serpent being real, um, but I think they learn a lot more about themselves and the world than they um, had thought possible before. So this sounds beautiful. Um, I think that 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 is a really interesting um, topic to discuss and excited to see how Sarah Perry explores that in this book. Next and probably the one I'm most excited about is Homegoing by Yagasi. This is a beautiful book. This follows two African sisters, one who is sold into slavery and the other who is married off to a slave trader and it follows their story and then their um, next generation stories kind of um, seemingly like an interconnected short story collection um, this is just so well loved I have not heard one negative thing about this book and I am so excited I think that I will be picking this one up this summer for sure I also got this really cool journaling Bible it's very beautiful cloth bound um, and it has space on the pages for kind of jotting down notes as you read. So I'm very excited to have this copy and to kind of put my thoughts. I've really been into um, annotating my books lately and um, I thought that this would be a cool way to do that while I read scripture. Last, I have the complete stories of Flannery O'Connor in this beautiful um, edition and then they have a little illustrated picture of Miss O'Connor on the back but these are just um, her collected st short stories. I am very excited to finally own this and um, read some Flannery O'Connor. So that was it. That was the rest of my birthday book haul. I'm so excited about a lot of these books. A lot of them are sequels, so excited about that. And other ones are just super well-known and well-loved um, books right now. So was excited to receive those and buy some of those for um, my birthday and yeah just excited to dive in so I'd love to know if you have picked any of those up if you've read any and loved them maybe where I should start um, I would love to know um, or chat about what you picked up recently I'm excited to some more videos now that we have moved um, my dad and I are going to be building a big bookshelf for this room so maybe do a vlog about that um, and then I am also going to I think do a couple videos about all of my unread books and show you guys those and maybe um, you know good accountability to have um, a physical representation I, I pulled all of my books down um, since moving I mean I still have a ton but these are all ones that I'm excited about and want to read so I think it would be cool to share that video with you guys but yeah I hope that you are having a good week I hope that you're um, enjoying the start to your summer it's been pretty cool here in the Midwest so I think the next video that I will be sharing with you guys is a vlog from a camping trip that my husband and I are going on and so that'll be another fun video to get to share with you guys but anyway I hope that you are having a great day and I hope to talk to y'all very soon bye